All right, what's up guys? I wanted to give you a quick tour of my office. Um, I'm a student, young adult pastor here at my church in St. Louis, Missouri. And so I wanted to give you a tour of the office, where I work, what do I do, what do I have in here, so on and so forth. So here we are. Um, now I don't spend a lot of my time in this office. Um, I work 45 to 50 hours a week. I would say I probably spend about half of those hours in here working on notes, um, preparing sermons, um, reading the word, time in prayer, doing some logistical admin stuff as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm in here quite often, but I wanted to give you a tour of, of what I what I have in here. So right behind me is the door where I walk in. Um, of course, I like to hang some, some jackets there just to kind of block the window out so I have some uh, extra privacy when I'm in prayer or when I'm um, you know reading the word, so on and so forth. Now, right behind me, I've got the couch. So this couch right here is um, a nice comfy couch. It's a small couch. Tons of people sit on this thing. I sit on this thing. I rest on it, just chill, you know, take some, take a few minutes just to decompress and, and clear my mind, so on and so forth. Um, I do that there. Now over here, you'll notice that I've got some paintings on this wall. This one right here is a uh, canvas print that I got at a a paint an art shop in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I love this uh, painting here. It's not the actual painting, it's a print on a canvas, but I love it because it just really speaks to me in the, in the tough seasons of life. This is of course, Peter walking on the water as Jesus calls him during the storm. And if you know the story, the disciples feel like they're dying, they're, they're getting hit by waves, they feel like they're gonna drown. So often in our own lives, we feel that same way. I'm kind of going through a tough season right now where I, I feel that a little bit. And so this is a reminder that Jesus is with me and present. Over here, I've got the classic uh, Lord's Supper painting. I think Da Vinci did this painting. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. This of course is just a cheap print. I think it was 50 bucks on Amazon. It comes with a fake wood uh, frame. Nothing too special, nothing too pricey, just looks nice. Um, very br very vibrant colors. I love it. Um, and this painting right here is another canvas print. Now this is one of my favorites that I have. This is, I don't remember what it was called, but it, it shows Jesus dancing with the children, which is incredible to me. Um, it, it really breaks off any religiosity that one might feel or think about Jesus. He was a human just like us. He was the son of God incarnate, but he was a human just like us. He laughed, he had fun. Uh, he danced with kids. He was a, a fun-loving person. He's also the king of kings, lord of lords. He's a judge, but this really paints a picture of his personality that I, I, I do believe is correct. Now over here, I've got a uh, coffee station. So this right here is my coffee station. I am a big coffee fan and hot tea fan, so uh, this was like a must-have for me. So when I moved into this office, I bought this mini cart and some other stuff that I'll show you now. So on the coffee stand, I've got a Keurig, classic Keurig, nothing special there. I typically have some coffee in here. I don't have much right now. I've got two thermoses that I use. Um, they work really well. I bought them at Target for 10 bucks. Uh, in case I am you know, going to a meeting or I'm going to an off-campus meeting away from the church, I wanna bring some hot tea or coffee. This right here is the perfect size for that. Nice little travel mug. Got a tea kettle here for uh, most mostly hot water for tea. I might use it for a pour over here and there. Got a coffee bean grinder. Down below, I've got some pour over stuff. I've got a few uh, glasses, some Chemex filters. My Chemex is right there. Scale. Um, got some oatmeal, some teas. Got some black teas right here, some herbal teas right here. I'm a huge tea fan. And there's my cups. So over to the left-hand side of that is kind of like my library. Um, I've got four bookshelves set up uh, behind me and I have tons of resources, books, um, Bibles, all kinds, of, uh, all, all kinds of that stuff. And so I wanna show you this one specifically. This is my uh, main bookshelf. Now on this one is all of my uh, Christian books. And so this whole uh, 
shelf right here is all the books that I've read. I've also read all the books up until about this point. Bonhoeffer is a really good one. Charles Spurgeon Autobiography is another great one. Some really good books in here if you guys want to pause and uh, look at some of the titles. And then from this point on, these books I have not read. These books I'm reading right now. And then these books have not been read yet either. Over here are some allegorical Christian fiction books. Pilgrim's Progress, Chronicles of Narnia, stuff like that. Down below is um, just some devotionals, some, some other works and stuff like that. Over here, I've got some knickknacks um, that are important to me. And so this one right here is a paint uh, drawing that one of my best friends drew for me um, back way back in the day when we were teenagers. Uh, she had a very big impact in my life. And so I, I still have this to this day. She, uh, you know, drew this and colored this for me way back in uh, 20, uh, 2009, actually. And so there's my name. My name's Chris. And there's her initials, K-O. Um, I got an hourglass here, although this is not an hourglass. It's a 30-minute uh, glass, so I'm not sure how that works, but there you go. I, I don't think an office is complete unless it has one of these. Um, I got some anointing oil right here that one of our congregants gave me. Uh, I think it's got some myrrh, some cassia, some frankincense in it, so that's pretty cool. I don't ever really get into it, but I like to have it. Um, this right here is a photo frame of me and my dog, um, one of my dogs. And she passed away about a year and a half ago. So we've got her uh, footprint right there. And so this is very special to me. She was a childhood dog that I had growing up. So I love having this on display in my office. Here is on the second level is some binders with notes that I've written. Bible study notes, teachings, transcripts, all that kind of stuff. I highly recommend, you know, when you prepare a teaching... Uh, specifically through a book of the Bible, I highly recommend keeping your notes in a binder such as this, just to, just to have. That way you can use it down the road if you want to teach on it again. Um, you have that available. Down here, I've just got some other kind of knickknacks, some, some hats, some Bible study materials, all that good stuff. This next bookshelf has some really important photos on it. This first one here is a photo of my young adult small group back in 2020. This was our Christmas party. Um, we had about 15 people. Um, this one over here is about, this one was 2022. So this was this past, no, this was 2021, sorry. Uh, 2021. Um, this was, this is my young adult small group as well. And so you'll see that the group has grown quite a bit. We're sitting at about 25 to 30 now. Uh, right here is a picture of my first team that I had in ministry that I worked on with, uh, there's me, the student pastor. I had uh, my friend Stuart. He was the next-gen worship director. Uh, his wife, Vesta, is uh, she was a coordinator, and then Christina was the admin for the team. So I think that's a, it's a really special photo to me. Here I've got some Bibles. Um, some of the Bibles I have is a Cambridge Pit Minion, a Clarion. Of course, I got the Diadem, the Crossway in Horween Leather. I've got a Crossway uh, Omega uh, Wide Margin, a, a regular Omega. And then I've got a Specially Bound Bible right here, Wide Margin. And then some Schuyler Bibles over here that I am keeping for future use. Um, right here is a duck decoy that my, grand, my step-grandfather and I built when I was in middle school. So it's pretty special to me. He just passed away recently. So I like to have that on display there. Down here is some other cool little knickknacks that are special to me. My wife um, got me this. I love golf, so she got me this little uh, cool little dude. I got a shofar from Israel that my buddy gave me. I've never used it. Um, don't truly know how to blow a shofar. And I've never been to Israel, but my buddy bought it um, online from Israel and gave it to me as a office gift. Here is a... A card from a little derby that my uh, Boy Scouts had. Funny story behind this. My dad and I forgot that we had the derby. And so, you know, a few hours before the derby started, we built this. And the wheels are all off, so we like to joke around about, about that. I live in St. Louis, so I got a little uh, bobblehead of Jim Edmonds. I'm nothing special about him specifically, but it reminds me of my dad. Um, 
who is still alive, thank goodness. But he got me this bobblehead, and we used to go to Cardinal games together a lot, so I love having that. Over here, um, we have got a few more little drawings that my wife did for me. So this one right here was one that she just kind of sketched out recently um, when we were in Destin, Florida. I love the simplicity of it. Um, I love her hobby and her desire to, to draw and want to get better at at painting and art in general. So it's really special to me that she did this. Here's another one uh, of us, just a, a really abstract painting um, of us exploring. And so I, I love having these these two uh, drawings or paintings here. Behind them is a commentary set on the New Testament by William Barclay. I inherited those when I got the office. I've also got some commentaries on the Song of Solomon, which I am studying with my small group now got a uh, here's some of my daily resources i've got a study bible crossway and mid brown goatskin trinity hymnal a way to pray by matthew henry there's my skylar psq that i use frequently almost daily um below that is some resources i've got a few books on the bible i've got a few commentaries here a few word dictionaries and a few other resources that i like to use and the rest down here is just more binders of study material. I've got some uh, textbooks down there that I use um, in my classes. I am a full-time student right now, so I'm in school full-time um, as I'm pastoring, which has been great and tough at the same time. So um, I'm loving it, though. I'm, I'm pr uh, presently in survey survey of Old Testament. Uh, and a survey of eschatology. So I'm really enjoying that. Now, what you'll find here is my desk. Now, um, this is where I, again, I, I sit for the majority of the day when I'm in here. Um, I love this desk. It is just a pretty cheap desk from Office Depot, but I love it because it's got a lot of space. It's very spacious. And I don't, I don't have a desktop set up here, so I use my uh, MacBook Pro, and I am currently getting ready to work on some teaching notes for uh, student ministry and young adult ministry, as well as a final paper for one of my classes. So I'm getting ready to do that here. I love this desk. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed having it. It's been great quality over the past two years that I've had it. Um, got my phone, got a little plant. I don't know what kind. I know it's a succulent. I'm not sure what specifically it is. Um, got my little uh, desk organizer with some pens, stapler, a few communion cups. Um, got a picture of my wife and I right here that we took. These are some of our engagement photos. And I've got a st sticky note that she left for me um, not so long, probably about five months ago. Um, got some highlighters, all the good stuff for a desk. Now, over here in this back corner... I have got a nice little drawer, um, I guess you could call it, a set of drawers. I found this in our church warehouse. I love the, the wood color. It matches my desk. It matches my bookshelves, so on and so forth. I probably said that phrase like 10 times in this video, so I'm sorry about that. But I, uh, I keep a lot of just, I wouldn't say junk in this, but just some basic uh, materials, um, you know, sheet protectors, um, extra pens, just all the extra office stuff that one would need. And then I got this cool Edison light uh, that I use somewhat frequently um, on rainy days. I like to have a chill vibe in here. Here you'll notice I've got another photo of my wife and I. I've got a apple pumpkin candle that I'm going to light actually because it's it is now officially fall. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I've got a diffuser as well that I use uh, throughout the weeks and months of the year. Um, there's my little medicine. Um, I found this in the kitchen. I like the color, it really matches well. I put my vitamins here and take them every morning. So there is that. Here is some more chairs, some more seating um, that I use when I have meetings with people. I've got a little nice uh, wooden table that I like to sit at and have coffee at sometimes or read a book. Then I got this massive window. 
And this window is my one of my favorite parts of this office. Um, I just love having natural sunlight in here when I want to. And so the cool thing is, is I can completely close this and it will be very dark. Um, so it'll pretty much block out all the light minus a few little, you know, strings of light coming through. And that way I can have my two lamps on and make it kind of dark and uh, chill. So here I've got my uh, bulletin board with um, just some important notes on it. And then I've got my uh, whiteboard, a little whiteboard here with a magnet for our, our student ministry schedule, all that good stuff. And then last but not least, I've got my whiteboard. This whiteboard is my go-to for vision casting. It's my go-to for uh, planning and scheduling and all that stuff. If you don't have a whiteboard in your office, I suggest maybe getting one. It's super helpful if you like to, if you're a visual learner, if you like to see things written out. I absolutely love it. Well, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, my office tour. Um, if you have any questions on some of the things I've bought as far as furniture or whatever it might be, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to respond to those and we will see you guys in the next one.